just to give you a little bit of hope before we wrap things up here, um, this is a slide showing what abstinence looks like for adolescents um, who are using cannabis, and it shows you, um, you know, what incredible changes can occur even in the span of three weeks, four weeks, right? On that working memory area, you see that after three weeks, uh, kids were back to the same as people who weren't using. On verbal memory, a little bit lower, but a huge percentage of the deficit caused from cannabis improved. And the same thing for attention, right? When you take a look at depressive symptoms, you see a rapid decline in depressive symptoms following abstinence and anxiety symptoms, same thing. Um, you're not getting quite to the control and the anxiety symptoms um, after a month, but you know, if you were to run that out, the likelihood that that would get better over the next three, six months um, kind of space and, and get back to control is pretty high. Um, of course, we've talked about some of the doom and gloom about the long-term permanent changes that can affect from cannabis, but there's absolutely big changes that abstinence um, can cause and, and you can reverse a lot of the harm, and particularly the sooner you're intervening, right? Uh, just a bigger slide to kind of talk to you about what it's like when you're in um, uh, treatment and getting sober and, and how that makes your depressive symptoms uh, go.